The garden was a very special place. It was a passion that Peter had. The creek, I think Peter always thought of as, as an extension of the garden. This is the same space that, even though it's beautiful and nice, can, under the right conditions, be a fierce little thing of nature that can devastate. And it turns out that's exactly what happened. The Thomas fire began in Santa Paula. We had no idea it was going to reach Santa Barbara, but it moved here fairly quickly. We started to get news about this rain coming, and we were told that we were in the voluntary zone, so we thought we would be okay, and if we weren't, we would be prepared to leave. I could feel like there was a train coming, or the earth was moving. I, I, I couldn't make sense of what was going on. There was mud and water flowing through the house already. The house actually started to lift off its foundation. It launched us out into the flow of mud and water. I looked over my shoulder, my left shoulder, and I saw Peter for the last time. Peter was someone that was willing to live his life without any regrets. I think early on in his own life, he realized that there is no do-overs in this life. You need to express who you are and live your life to its fullest.